so today I have swatches of the OPI California Dreaming Collection. There are 12 polishes here all together. These were sent to me by polishpick.com, so I will link them down below. So there are 12 polishes here all together. They are different shades of like orange, red, pink, and some nudes in there as well. I will say I feel like I'm being bombarded with mainstream polish collections between China Glaze and Essie and OPI. I feel like everyone's throwing in kind of an extra collection or two this year. So yeah, 12 polishes here all together and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Feeling Frisco and this is a lighter kind of sandy nude. So here is one coat. And this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat and a little bit streaky. A lot of those streaks do level themselves out as it dries and good formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely for me in two, but I think depending on your application, I could see you needing a third because it is entirely possible to have a few streaks left after that second coat, but it also depends on how picky you are about streaks in the first place. So there is two coats of Feeling Frisco. The next polish is called Barking Up the Wrong Sequoia, and this is a peachy nude. So here's one coat. And this one is also a bit sheer and a bit streaky on that first coat. Those streaks are settling a bit as it dries, but it will definitely still need a second coat. And good formula on this one as well. So here's two coats. So this one also covers completely in two coats, but I do think you could end up needing a third, again, depending on your application or how picky you are about streaks. Because you could definitely still have some dark spots after that second coat. So there is two coats of Barking Up the Wrong Sequoia. The next polish is called Excuse Me Big Sur, and this is like almost a lighter salmon-y pink color. I feel like it's not quite there, but that's the closest I can think of to describe it. So here is one coat. And this one covers really well on that first coat. It's a little tiny bit streaky. A lot of those are leveling themselves out as it dries. Not quite a one coater, but pretty close. And a great formula on this one as well. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. Not super surprising, because it was really close in one. I think after this one is used a couple of times and it thickens up a little bit, could probably easily get it opaque in one coat. So there is two coats of Excuse Me Big Sir. The next polish is called Time for a Napa, and OPI actually describes this one as a hot coral. So here is one coat. And this one is a bit sheer and a bit streaky on that first coat. And like all of the other ones so far, a lot of those streaks are leveling themselves out as it dries. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. I do feel like this might dry just a tiny bit darker than it applies. And I guess I could see where it's possible to need three coats too, just depending on your application and your preferences, but I don't think it's super likely. So there is three coats of Time for a Napa. The next polish is called Malibu Pure Pressure, and this is described as a cotton candy pink. So here is one coat. So a little bit streaky on that first coat, not terrible, and a great formula on this one as well. So here's two coats, and this one does cover completely in two. This is another one that maybe if you are extremely heavy-handed when you apply, you might need a third coat, but I don't think it's super likely. So there is two coats of Malibu Pure Pressure. The next polish is called GPS I Love You, and this is a hot pink. So here is one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat, but it seems to cover really evenly. I don't really see many streaks. It almost has ever so slightly a little bit more of a jellyish property to it, like the tiniest bit. I probably would not even have noticed if I hadn't just done a cream right before it. And good formula on this one as well. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. This is another one that I feel dries just slightly darker than it applies, but I could also be kind of crazy in imagining that too. So there is two coats of GPS I Love You.
The next polish is called Santa Monica Beach Peach, and this is a hot orange color. So here is one coat. So this one is a bit sheer, but for the most part even. It's definitely more of a jelly than a cream. But when I say that, it's a very opaque looking jelly. And a good formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. There are a few streaks as I'm applying this second coat, like darker streaks. But as I go back and look at previous nails, like previous, it's two, it's not that far away. They look like those streaks are kind of filling themselves in as it dries. So there is two coats of Santa Monica Beach Peach. So the next polish is called Me, My Selfie, and I, and this is described as a coral, but it's very red to me. It's not red red, um, but it definitely doesn't look coral either. So here is one coat. And this one actually covers pretty well on that first coat. There's a couple of streaks, but they're really not that bad. It's a little bit sheer, but not very streaky. And after having it on my nails, I guess I would maybe describe this as like a hot red. I still don't see coral. I see like a very hot reddish orange color. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. It's another one that I feel like leans a little bit on the jelly side, but not like full on sheer jelly. So there is two coats of me, my selfie, and I. The next polish is called To the Mouse House We Go, and this is a, oh, I don't wanna call it a dark red, but it's definitely on the darker side of red. Medium, maybe, medium too dark. So here is one coat. So this one is sheer on the first coat. It's definitely more of a jelly, but it covers very evenly. There's like no streaks at all. Good formula on this. I am guessing I'll probably need three coats. If I remember correctly, I did need three coats for my pictures, just because it is more of a jelly and my nail line was showing through. So here is two coats. So again, this covers very, very evenly. It is still sheer though. I can still make my nail line out pretty well. So I am gonna do that third coat. I'm not really sure that third coat's gonna cover it up completely either, but I'll do it anyway. So here is three coats. So three coats does not make a huge difference in the amount of nail line that's showing. I do feel like it deepens the color a little bit. Even with that nail line showing though, it's, I don't know how to explain this. It's obvious when you look at it, if you're looking for it, you don't really have to like look hard, but I don't think it's something that anyone would notice um, just in like everyday hand movement. Actually, I'm not even sure if you can see it on the camera. Who knows? So there is three coats of To the Mouse House We Go. The next polish is called This Is Not Wine Country, and this is a berry color. So here is one coat. So this one is also a jelly. It is pretty sheer on that first coat, but like the last one covers very evenly. I think this one might have a little bit more opacity to it. I don't know, I might be imagining things. So I don't think that I'll have an issue with a nail line still showing after three coats of this one. I might not even need three coats actually. So here is two coats. So this one, I can still see my nail line a bit with it. So I'm gonna do a third coat. I'm not really sure if the third coat's gonna make that big of a difference, but like I said before in videos, I kind of max out at three, so we'll see. So here's three coats. So three coats didn't really seem to change the color too much, but it did just slightly hide the nail line a little bit more than two coats did. I don't really think you'd need the third coat. It's a very, very subtle difference, and it's like the red where you can definitely see the nail line if you're looking for it, but it's not super obvious if you're nails aren't like in someone's face. So there is three coats of This Is Not Wine Country. So the next polish is called Sweet Caramel Sunday, and this is described as a glistening gold, but it is like very not gold to me. Bronze maybe, maybe a little bit bronzy. So here is one coat. So on first application, there are a lot of brush strokes through here, so I'm trying to make them nice and straight in case they don't go away when it dries, because I did the pictures so long ago that I really can't remember. It is a little bit sheer on this first coat, but it does have a really good formula. So here is two coats. 
So two coats does cover completely on this one, and it looks like a good amount of those brush strokes do fade away as it dries, but I would still try to be careful with them just in case. I think if they're really, really crazy and like all over the place, you're probably gonna notice after it's dry. So there is two coats of Sweet Caramel Sundae. And the last polish is called Don't Take Yosemite for Granite, and this is described as a shimmering slate. It has a very purpley undertone to me. I don't know if it's picking up so much on camera. My viewfinder kind of looks like it's coming off a little bit more gray, but it really does have a very, like I said, purple undertone. So here is one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat and definitely does have brush strokes, so I'm trying to make those nice and straight. Good formula on this one. So here is two coats, and this one does cover completely in two, and it looks like virtually all of those brush strokes did go away as the polish dried. And this is one that I think maybe later on in its little polish life, it could be a one coater, because I just had very minimal bald spots on the first coat. So there is two coats of Don't Take Yosemite for Granite. So I think Malibu Pure Pressure is going to be my favorite. It's not a unique pink by any means, but it did stand out to me in this collection. Um, the oranges, I'm only a big fan of like certain tones of orange and I really don't like reds on my skin either. And I like pinks if they're lighter pink. So these are, this whole collection was kind of like my not my favorite colors to wear, but I do like this kind of shade of pink, especially this time of year because I'm finally starting to feel like it's getting a little bit summery. And so these are the kind of colors that I'm leaning towards finally. So that one is my favorite. So that is the OPI California Dreaming Collection. Again, I will link polish pick down below where those came to me from. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.